Good morning, everyone, and welcome to ND Sunrise. This is the review of the Keenan Review. That's right, we've got a big game in Sin City. Plot twist, I am the Grim Reaper. Overall, this year's event was a rousing success. Would Notre Dame be the first one to, to accept ASL as a foreign language as a department? Once again, I'm Elena Morgan from ND Sunrise, signing off. Good morning and welcome back to ND Sunrise. I'm Elise Dahoney. And I'm Alice O'Brien. Today we have a very exciting episode. It's our Valentine's Day show. Yes, love is in the air here in South Bend and we're celebrating here at NDTV the way we always do with some Valentine's Day themed segments today. First, to get you into the Valentine's Day spirit, our favorite leprechauns on the lawn are back to ask people about their best and worst dates and so much more. Lauren and Mason, take it away. Hey everyone, it's Leprechauns on the Lawn. I'm Mason. And I'm Lauren. And today we have a special segment. Today we are going around asking Notre Dame students some special Valentine's Day questions. I'm feeling the love in the air. Maybe not quite for us, but let's see what other Notre Dame students are doing to celebrate. Let's get to it. I'm here with one of my best friends, Bridget. And Bridget, what are you going to do to celebrate Valentine's Day? For Valentine's Day, I had a girl pregame in my room and we all wore pink and took pretty pictures and just had a lot of fun. I love that. Happy Valentine's Day, Bridget. Thank you. All right, I'm here with some Keenan guys and I'm here asking them what they're doing for Valentine's Day. So what do you have planned? Well, I'm just hanging out with the boys. <laughs> all right. I got reservations with the boys. <laughs> ah, love to hear it, love to hear it. I am here with Claire. Sarah. And ladies, what is the worst date you've ever been on? Um, I got asked to walk to the gas station with someone. Interesting. Lovely. <laughs> McDonald's. Awesome locations. Thanks, ladies. I'm here with my friends Isaiah and Ethan, and I'm here asking them, flowers or chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate for sure. No, oh, no there's no question. It's chocolate. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I am here with... Uh, Sebastian. And Lila. And what is the worst date you have ever been on? Uh, well, we were uh, taking a walk at the beach, and then, uh, like, it was kind of rocky, and then, like, we were, I kind of, like, put her, my hand on her back, and she, like, I kind of pushed her off the rocks, which wasn't great, but, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Thoughts on this? <laughs> was that a first date, or...? Yeah. 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 Was Last there a second date? date? <laughs> no. no Thank you. I guess yeah. I'm here with a multitude of friends, and I'm going to ask them, flowers or chocolate? <laughs> flowers, because they smell good. Mm. Flowers. Yeah. Flowers, because they last longer. No, they do because the chocolate you eat chocolate flowers, flowers never expire. Flowers, flowers never expire. Flowers, but they have to know what they're doing. Uh, mm. Very mixed they, opinions. They mean, they mean I think it certain things. It does mean certain things. It does. Thank you, ladies. I'm here with Ryan, Judith, and they are the first Valentine's Day couple we found. Woo! Can you guys tell us the story of your first date? So, we uh, started by doing an activity. We went bowling. And then we enjoyed a nice dinner at Creation. And then we went to Ritter's for ice cream. And at Ritter's, we, uh, it was cold out. It was actually uh, February 24th last year. And so we, uh, we were sitting in the Ritter's parking lot with the heater on in the car, and the battery died. Uh, so Emma down there and a couple other of our friends had to, uh, a couple other of our friends had to uh, come jump the car. Aw, that's so nice. So you guys have your anniversary coming up? Yeah. Love is real, guys. I'm here with? Arushi. Yes. Arushi, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I'm spending with my friends doing Valentine's Day. So yeah, we're baking, we're cooking, we're eating. Very sweet. Thank you so much. Well, that about does it. Sounds like everyone's got something unique going on for Valentine's Day. Absolutely. We'll see you next time. I'm Mason. And I'm Lauren. See you back at the desk. Thanks, you two. That was certainly interesting, learning about everyone's fun and not-so-fun date experiences. Elise, do you have any bad date stories? 
I don't have any that could top those, but you know, leave it to Mason and Lauren to find the best interviewees out about on campus. Some of you guys have really gone through it, uh, so I'm glad that's not me. <laughs> yeah, well, moving on from our favorite interviewers, let's hand it off to NDTV's resident love experts. Jada and Zora are back with their best NDTV episode yet at Valentine's Day special. Maybe they have some advice on finding the one for you or even just some self-love tips. Let's check in with them. I actually went out to a party hoping, hoping, praying, <laughs> praying, hoping. that I could um, make my situation ship sweat a little bit. Um, and he slept very much fine. Uh, the only thing I sweat out was that leave out. Exactly. Hello and welcome back for a special episode of ND T V. It's Valentine's Day, so you know we had to give you a good had episode to. today. You know we had to. We're here with all the advice you asked. I asked, we're going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started with our first question. All right, let's hear All it. right, is it okay to move or reschedule Galentine's Day because me and my significant other have plans on the 14th? No. First of all, jealous that you have plans. <laughs> first of all, I envy you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think if you have plans, don't reschedule, especially if it's multiple friends. Okay, also yes. I don't have that. Um, but, <laughs> but if it's multiple right. friends, like, they all move their schedules around for that right. specific date. So just because you and your man right. or woman have some plans, like... How dare you? Yeah. I think that's selfish. Yeah. Because if your friends don't have the same type of plans that you have, how dare you ask them to move it because you and your man or woman want to go out to eat, want to go do something for Valentine's Day. Uh, we're not all like that, okay? Exactly. So that's rude. So are you picking your significant other or your friends? If I was in that situation, I mean, it's Valentine's Day. It's a holiday of love. Mm -hmm. I have to pick my significant other. I have to. That's true. But it's not that I don't have love for my friends. That's so true. much love for them. Well, also, it's also, are you picking a meal paid for or a bill Ooh. split? Ooh. Hit. Yes. And I'm getting my meal paid for. Yep. I'm not going yeah. to hold you guys. And if they're not paying for your meal, that's the last <laughs> Valentine's Day. And that's it. <laughs> That'll tell a lot. Okay, second question. Where should I take my girlfriend out to dinner? And I'm thinking like South Bend Edition. South Bend Edition, off campus, preferably. Mm, so you preferably. better save up for some Ubers if you don't have a car. Absolutely. Um, but on campus, Roars. I'm Roars. not going to lie to you. Roars is one of my favorite restaurants in South Ooh, Bend. Okay. I love me some Roars. But that reservation needs to be made yesterday if yeah, you're going you're to Roars. Because I'm sure if you're watching this, the same idea. You're behind. <laughs> you are behind. Yeah. You need to call and you need to like tip off the waiter or something so that yeah. you can get a ASAP. table ASAP. at Roars. I think off campus, just, just not the dining hall, please. But any anywhere else, I feel like Carmela's something something okay. Italian. Okay. I like Italian. Carmela's, Rocco's. Rocco's. Okay. I'm Carabas. thinking like Ruth Chris. Hmm. I'm thinking go big or go, what? No. Girl, I love me some Ruth Chris. Hmm. Go big or go home. Go okay. big or go home. All right. Question three. My situationship hasn't asked me to be his Valentine yet. What should I do? This one hit a little close to home. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, we're being transparent here. <laughs> it hurts a little bit. Oh, um, um, great question, because that's kind of one that, I digress. Right. Um, I digress. Yeah. Yep. How do we um, answer this? The advice that I would give uh -oh. to the viewers is drop them. But don't follow, because she doesn't follow it. Yeah, so. not always. But like, please, <laughs> have some love for yourself. Right. Have some respect for yourself. I agree. They should, if they want to take it to the next level, if they want to, they, they should. Would've. Not they if would've. they want to, they would, but they should. I think if your situation ship has not asked that question, you were not in the situation you thought you were in. No, you're That's not a situation that's a, ship, love. That's a predicament. You're in a predicament ship. Predicament ship. Yeah, I, I think you need to reevaluate after that one. Yeah. Especially a big holiday. He knows or yeah. she knows it's Valentine's Day. They're not dumb. And what, there's seven billion people in the world? Go find somebody who will climb up the moon for you. Yes, I love that. I lo that was really poetic, that was sweet. You should do that. I know I should do you that. Should do that. Yeah. You should do that. You should do that. Okay, and the fourth and the final question okay. is more of a statement. Okay. It says, I am lonely on Valentine's Day, period. Oh my gosh, who wrote I that one? I don't know who wrote that one. But <laughs> who wrote um, that one? For gals and guys who are yeah. lonely on Valentine's Day, what I suggest is maybe you take it as a day to love yourself. Hey, what did Miley Cyrus say? I can buy myself flowers. She did say that. She, she won a Grammy, for, won a it, Grammy so. for it. So you should take that advice. You heard that. Or you can watch sad movies. Yes. Or be happy. Or be happy. Let's not go down the sad road. Let's that go down the happy road. happy road. Treat yourself out to dinner. Maybe dessert. Postmate something. Ooh. Uber eat something. Ooh. Go somewhere. Go somewhere. Grab a few friends. Go somewhere. 
okay. And if the emotions come, just let them flow. You know, I'm Can a fan of Phoebe that. Bridgers. If that, if it comes to that, but don't let it come to that, okay? Right. Be happy. So many things you can do to avoid that. And Valentine's Day, and Hello. maybe, you, and if you're a guy, Brolentine's Day. <laughs> guy and Tine's Day. Guy and Tine's Day. That, that's a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> if you will, yeah. There's so many yeah. things to avoid being sad on Valentine's Day, although it's hard, because mm. nothing but couples and they're nasty. So. Yeah, I'm gonna be the biggest hater actually. On I'm Valentine's going day. to be hating on Valentine's Day. So if you see me, I'm going to glare at you yes. with, with your significant other. I'm going to glare. Yeah. All right. That is all we have for you today. Hopefully this advice is helpful. Remember, <laughs> do as we say, not as we do. Yes. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day or your Galentine's Day or Either your alone in Tine's Day. Oh, I like that. Yes. Yeah. We'll check back with you next week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, Zora and Jada. You've helped to remind us that Valentine's Day is about spreading love to everyone around you, not just a significant other. And as Grammy-winning artist Miley Cyrus once said, you can always buy yourself flowers. <laughs> you tell them, Alice. There's nothing better than putting Miley, Taylor, and Beyonce on repeat for Valentine's Day. I mean, where would we truly be without I them? I don't know. <laughs> well, moving on, we have an important weather update to get to. Megan, what can we expect this week? Thanks, Alice. Welcome to ND Sunrise's weather report. I'm Megan O'Keefe, and I'm here to bring you all the news of the weather coming this week. Starting off, at least today for Valentine's Day, we have a bit of sun. However, last week, those high degrees of 60 degrees were apparently a fluke as it gets colder and colder throughout the week and more cloudy. At least if your parents are coming for junior parents this weekend, like mine are, there's no precipitation. So as long as your parents layer up, there should be no problem walking them around campus, giving them the tour. Uh, towards the end of the week on Tuesday, it looks like the temperature is going a bit up to a high of 52 degrees. However, there is a high percentage of rain, so prepare for that. All right, that's all I have. Back to the desk. Thanks, Megan. I'm just happy the days of single digit degrees are behind us. Uh, don't speak too quickly, Alice. This is Southman, Indiana. And I know you're only a freshman, but Mother Nature can be pretty moody here. Have you heard of second winter? I didn't hear about it until I moved here. It's coming. Come it's on, coming. Elise. Let me live in delusion, at least for <laughs> now. All right, before we go, let's take a look at the events happening on campus during this very busy week. It looks like Sonnet Fest is returning to Notre Dame campus in a brand new incarnation. You can spend this Valentine's Day enjoying readings of all 154 of William Shakespeare's sonnets by members of the Notre Dame and Michiana communities. The event will be held on February 14th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Haggerty Family Cafe stage in Duncan Student Center. Are you looking to attend an Ash Wednesday Mass at the Basilica? Time offerings include 8 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 5.15 p.m. and 9 p.m., as well as at 7 p.m. in Spanish. And of course, these are all on February 14th, as Valentine's Day is also Ash Wednesday this year. Doubling up. World Music Dance Fest will be held on Thursday, February 15th from 4 to 6 p.m. in the Labar Performance Hall in O'Neill Hall of Music. Enjoy musical performances representing many different cultures from popular ND student groups. You can learn the Irish jig, Latin moves, and Bollywood dances all in one place. <laughs> Do you want to become a registered voter? The answer should be yes. Come to the first floor of the Duncan Student Center on Valentine's Day from 2 to 5 p.m. Make sure to bring your government ID to register to vote, check your registration status, and get more info about how to register as an absentee voter. Well, that's all we have for today's episode of ND Sunrise. You can catch our regular episodes on Thursday mornings in the Duncan Student Center from 9 to 11 a.m. You can also watch our episodes on the ND TV YouTube page under the ND Sunrise playlist. And to keep up on all the latest news, follow us on Instagram at Notre Dame Television, at Notre Dame TV on Twitter, and Notre Dame Television on YouTube. Do you want to get involved with NDTV? We're always searching for people interested in studio production and television broadcasting. NDTV is a student-led program here on campus, so come visit our studio on the second floor of Duncan Student Center or send us an email at NDTV at nd.edu to get involved. We would love to have you. And you can also tune into Shamrock Sports this Friday at 3.30 p.m. in the Duncan Student Center or on YouTube if you want to see an awesome Junior Parents Weekend episode that will feature our lovely NDTV juniors on air. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. From all of us here at the studio, we wish you a very happy Valentine's Day full of love in all its forms and a very holy start to the Lenten season if you celebrate. 
I'm Elise Dahoney. And I'm Alice O'Brien. From, from ND, ND Sunrise, Sunrise signing, signing off. off.